Sponsored by Explore Scientific. Get ready for a winter treat. The best meteor shower of the year is happening in the early morning of Tuesday, December 14th. At peak, the Geminid meteor shower could have more than 100 shooting stars per hour. That translates to a meteor or two every minute when seen from dark skies, or one every other minute from suburban skies. Meteor showers are one of a few instances when, instead of us looking out at the cosmos, the universe comes to us. Shooting stars, of course, aren't stars at all. They're actually small pieces of debris left behind passing comets, or sometimes asteroids. In the case of the Geminids, the culprit is asteroid 3200 Phaethon. The pieces this space rock leaves behind burn up in a flash as they fall into Earth's upper atmosphere at speeds approaching 80,000 miles per hour. Larger pieces might take longer to burn up, creating longer-lasting fireballs that arc across the sky. Phaethon loops around the sun every one and a half years, shedding particles every time it comes close enough to bake in the sun's heat. The Earth passes through the debris field left in the space rock's wake every mid-December. The Geminids typically offer good show, but this year they'll be competing with a bright waxing gibbous moon. The lunar glow will drown out all but the brightest meteors, but fortunately, the moon does set eventually. You can start looking for bright meteors any time after darkness descends on the evening of the 13th, but you'll have a better chance of seeing greater numbers after the moon leaves the sky at around 3 a.m. local time on the morning of the 14th. Keep watching until morning twilight, if you can stay awake. This is one astronomy event where no telescopes are required. The meteors will appear to be coming from a spot near the bright star Castor, one of the Gemini twins, but meteors will be visible across the sky. For light-polluted areas, your best bet is to scan the darkest part of the sky, which is usually the part right above you. Lying down and gazing up at the sky is easier said than done in cold and possibly snowy December. Be sure to dress warmly and in layers. Bring a heavy blanket or an insulated sleep sack, and if you can, lay on a lawn chair so you're off the cold ground. You'll want to spend at least 20 minutes outside to allow your eyes to adjust to the dark. Otherwise, you won't even know what's happening above you. Enjoy your evening out among the shooting stars.